Hi, I'm Mike with Hydro Health, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your Vantan hydroponic system. The reason for doing this is that it's important to clean your unit thoroughly after a few growth cycles, or every two months ideally, in order to prevent buildup of algae and mineral deposits, in order to keep your system running efficiently, and to keep your plants healthy. This should take less than an hour if only one person is doing it, and it'll take less time if you have help available. So the first step I recommend is to place a large trash bag on the floor in front of the unit in order to protect your floor from getting it wet. If you notice here, I've harvested the lettuce, so I'm going to clean those two layers. Meanwhile, I have some tomato and pepper plants that still need some time to grow, so I'm going to leave them in place and I'll clean that layer another day. Okay, once your plant material has been removed, it's time to turn off the pump using the app on your phone. Anyone at your company can download the app and connect to the hydroponics unit. When you turn the pump off, some of the water will drain down into the reservoir, but about an inch of water will remain. That's enough to keep your tomatoes and peppers happy while you're cleaning the other levels. Okay, so now that you've removed the plants and roots, it's time to remove the water from the reservoir which is located down here in the cabinet. So you wanna grab the two little handles on the cabinet panel and pull the panel out. And now you can set that aside and see the reservoir down below. Now you want to slide the reservoir out partially so that you have room to remove the water. I like to use a pitcher like this to scoop out the water and transfer it to a bucket. If you have a shop vac, that works well too. Just be sure to empty the shop vac so it doesn't overflow. This reservoir holds 10 gallons of water, so you want to make sure your shot vac is big enough. Once the majority of the water is removed from the reservoir and it's light enough to pick up, pour out the rest into your 5 gallon bucket to discard. Next, you'll want to remove the grow rafts which are the plastic trays that have holes the plants are set in to grow. Just be cautious and mindful. You might have to lift up this tailpiece of the other drain temporarily just to slide this panel out. I like to place these trays in a plastic tote like this one, which is big enough so that I can set the trays inside. So if you look inside the grow trays, You'll see that there's about a gallon of water still inside. Now it's time to remove that water. I like to start with the top grow tray and work down from there. So there's basically three ways to remove the water from the trays. One is to use a siphon hose with a bulb like this one I have here. You just squeeze the bulb which fills the line and then gravity does the rest, sucking the water up. Or if you have a shop vac, that works well too. A third way is to use a small container pitcher like this or a Tupperware and scoop the water out that way. Now that you've emptied your reservoir and taken the water out of the trays you want to clean, you're ready now to check and see if there's a lot of mineral and algae buildup. If there is, you can use a scrub brush like this one to scrub it loose. You could then use your shop vac, microfiber cloth, or other kind of rag to remove the debris. If there happens to be algae that is hard to remove, you can dissolve a couple spoonfuls of citric acid into the water that is remaining in the bottom of the tray. The algae and mineral buildup will be easier to remove. If there's not a lot of buildup, you can just spray the inside of the tray with Xerotol solution that's been provided to you and use that to wipe the tray clean with your microfiber rag or paper towels. Xerotol is hydrogen peroxide based so it'll clean and kill any bacteria in your unit. If the inside of your reservoir is similarly dirty, you can use your brush and the citric acid again to help you clean it. Either way, you want to spray it with your Xerotol solution and let it air dry. Now that you've cleaned your reservoir and grow trays, it's now time to clean your grow rafts which is very simple. You just spray both sides with your Xerotol solution and then wipe them clean with the microfiber rag.
And now that you've got everything clean, it's time to start reassembling your hydroponic system. You first want to return your reservoir to the bottom compartment, making sure that the small water pump and the drain tube are inside like this. Next, you can replace the clean grow rafts on the top of the grow trays. Finally, it's time to refill your reservoir and turn on the pump. That's done using your app, so if you need to review that, just watch our setup and transplant video, which explains all of that. One thing to remember is that when you turn your pump on, the pump will take water out of the reservoir and start filling the trays above. So you need to have around five gallons more nutrient solution on hand in order to fill it to within about two inches of the top. So now your unit is either ready to continue growing or ready to be transplanted. Again, I recommend you do this roughly every two months that your system is in use. Your plants will thank you for it. I'm Mike from HydroHealth. Thanks for watching.